the unedited video I had done of the Lanzo record breaker that Matt Wiebe flew at the Nats was incredibly popular. So like Paul Harvey used to do, I thought I would do the rest of the story. So I contacted Matt and then I contacted Bob Hanford. Turns out the model had been built by someone in Texas who gave the uncovered model to Mark Troutman and then uh, Bob Hanford ended up with it and it sat in his garage for 15 to 20 years. So Bob took the model to the airport that Matt manages and he was just thrilled to get the airplane. So Chuck Powell donated some covering material. The completed model was flown on a smaller ignition engine which powered it okay, but it didn't climb very well. So Bob Hanford hooked him up with the Super Cyclone ignition engine. Bill Schmidt had helped with getting the Super Cyclone engine going. And as you can see in the takeoff at the Nats, it had plenty of power. There still are some ignition engine parts available from vendors, like Larry Davison sells some. Larry says to find his web page by searching for Larry's Coils in Google. And the website is Model Flight. There's electronic electrical components now available to make the engines run more reliable. I also contacted Hank Nystrom's Texas Timers. He has sold an ignition timer and he said he still had a few available. There's an organization known as SAM. Society for Antique Modelers that has a website and holds contests, some of which are at Muncie, Indiana. In the July issue of Model Aviation Magazine, there is a big article on the Society of Antique Modelers. What really fascinated me was the book about Norm Rosenstock and how his kids, they rode the subway with these large ignition models. I want to thank everyone for watching these videos. I know it's not the most professional, but I'm trying to improve, and I'm trying to do a variety of different uh, subjects. A model of this size isn't so hard to follow with the camera, but I really had a hard time with the very small models and the fast ones.